Community Viewpoint with Maria Hurst. Welcome to Community Viewpoint. I'm your host for this segment, Maria Hurst, and I'm already laughing and I'm already in so excited about my guest tonight. Well, please welcome Mr. Byron Wayne. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks you're so much for having me. Oh, I'm yeah. super excited because I, I love comedy and I was so excited to see your page, and I'm sorry I didn't get to go to the first one. I was so sad. I was like, oh my gosh, all those are such good comedians. And so I contacted Byron and I said, please come on the show because all of our viewers need to watch the show, find out when his shows are, and tell all your friends. So welcome. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And we'll fill Mountain Falls banquet rooms next time. Yes, we will. Oh, that'll yes, be great. Yes, we will. So tell me, um, what, so, so you were a teacher, so I heard before yeah. you were a teacher, so tell me a little bit about, about that and then how you came to be a comedian. Well, when I was doing uh, uh, teaching about, oh, maybe seven, eight years ago, um, I started thinking about comedy. I had this one dog that spent six years in a puppy mill and I wrote a little, little comedy routine about, about him and how, how dysfunctional he was. But he was perfectly normal when he was out in the yard with the other dogs. You know, right. Running, barking, playing, doing dog he stuff. He had friends. <laughs> yeah, he, he loved dog stuff. But whenever I was in the uh, house and the other dogs were hanging around me, he would just sit up against the wall and just stare at me, the evil thing. You know, and, and what, what are you going to do to me? <laughs> yeah. What, what made him really happy was me leaving. When, when I'd leave the house, he would act like normal dogs do when their owners come home. Oh, and my goodness. So when I'd get, be getting ready in the morning, he'd be dancing around. Oh, he's going to be going. He's going to be going. <laughs> and he'd just wait for the magic words. And I'd say, goodbye, BB. And he'd spin around and run around the coffee table and go charging out the doggy door. My fenced <laughs> area goes all the way around my house, clear back to the front door. And as I'd be heading out the front door, he'd be bouncing off of the house, spinning <laughs> around. And then as I'd be getting into my car, he'd be up against the fence. Ur, 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 ur. And then as heading out in the, to go teach, he'd be prancing around with his head way up in the air and his tail as high as it could possibly be. Uh, he was Get the house to himself with him and his friends. <laughs> uh, he's a Bashan Frise, and when... Bashans get happy, their tails are supposed to go all the way up over their back like this. Oh my gosh. You know, but since he spent uh, six years in the puppy mill, he never developed those muscles. Mm -hmm. So when he'd get excited, his tail would get happy, his tail would just kind of go like this. <laughs> you know, so he had a condition that's known in the beef Sean Frise community as ETD, erect tail dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that was my, my first real comedy routine that I wrote. All it right. It was about my dog, Bibi. So he sounds very inspiring. Yeah. He sounds funny. So oh, I, I did hear earlier, it took him a while to like, I don't know about this guy. Oh yeah, it was, I, I had him five years before he would let me give him food. So he, he, he really made you interview for a long time. Yeah, well, you could tell that he'd been tricked so many times by right. food, you know, that Nope, not having any of that. He's I'm not like, falling forget for that it, dude. anymore, you know. But uh, yeah, if, if he was in a safe place, he would be fine. And now, if for some reason, he'd feel comfortable sleeping right up above my head every night, and I could just reach up and pet him. But for me to go up to him and pet him, he wouldn't have any of that. Yeah, but only when be, it's on his he, terms. He'd be fine with me reaching up and petting him when I was laying down. Well, he sounds hysterical. Yeah, yeah, he was a. He, he was quite a little guy. He, he died a little more than a year and a half ago now. Well, now well, he gets to hear your routine wherever you are. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. what got you started? Um, what, what made you do your first DVD? Well. And we have the DVDs yeah, here. Yeah, I, I have And two they are DVDs. available if you contact yeah. him on his Facebook page. Yeah. I, just, I just said that. He didn't even know I was going to say yeah. that. Yeah, one is Byron Wayne. I am a school teacher. And now that I'm no longer a school teacher, my second one is called Support Weed. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Weed is spelled W E apostrophe D, which is, an I love that. which is an abbreviation for We Would. So I'll let you use your imagination for that one. Yeah. I love it. 
<laughs> I'm totally buying these. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. So the first show at Mountain Falls was uh, a few weeks ago. Now the next one's coming up yeah. November 12th. Yep, Saturday, November 12th. They're all on Saturday. And this next one's at uh, 8 o'clock. And I think that the next one after that, we're going to try 7.30 start time and only have a, okay. a half an hour for right now the doors open at seven o'clock okay for those that want dinner okay so there's an hour slot there for dinner we might cut that down to a, a half an hour and we probably will try it a half an hour for the december show okay well because yeah. people can finish eating while they're yeah mm -hmm. while while they're just, while you guys are starting up just yeah just uh they'll have to watch you know and the punch lines that they're not drinking or yeah. eating right yeah, at the punchline sometime. because you might spit your food all over the place. Or, or choke, yeah, that's another <laughs> right? bad, bad thing that comedy and food sometimes don't go well <laughs> together because of that. You just have to have someone certified just yeah. stand around just for choking hazards yeah. for all those good jokes. Yeah. Um, well, last time almost everybody finished before we <laughs> oh, that's good. finished the eating before we got started. I heard, yeah. I had some friends that actually got to go and all the reviews, so everybody needs to go to this show. November 12th, mm -hmm. doors open at 7, so just be there at 7, get something to yeah. eat, get something to drink, and then be ready to laugh all yeah. night. My friends were so happy that they went, and uh, so I'll give a shout-out to Debbie and James and um, yeah. tell them that I'm sorry that I missed that show because I heard it was awesome. So I'm not going to miss another one, though. Yeah, and you, those of you that were at the last show, you're not going to have to worry about uh, hearing the same material from me again because I have uh, about 20 new minutes of material this time. The way okay. I do my show, I, I do about 10 to 15 minutes first, and then the first comedian, which is known as the featured comedian, and then I do about 10 minutes more. Okay. And then the headliner, and then okay. I just let the headliner wrap it up because it's kind of a pain getting me up and off the stage. Right. You know, so I just let the headliner go ahead and uh, and, and wrap things up. So That's a lot of comedy yeah. for such a good deal. So um, admission, so if anybody wants to know, uh, you were telling me before, um, yeah. they, can, they can make their own decision, but buy a DVD for $10. Yeah, if you, if you donate, so, if you donate $10 or more, you get one of the DVDs. And you can support weed. Mm -hmm. W-E apostrophe D. Yeah. I, that's so clever. I love that. Yeah. I love that. I am so looking forward to the show. Um, yeah. How much time do we have? Because I want to ask a couple more questions. Oh, good. We have lots of time. OK. So um, so who's playing at this next show on November 12th? OK. Uh, this next show is uh, Kento is the featured comedian. OK. And he lives here in Pahrump now. but. He grew up in Buffalo, New York, and uh, he went to high school in Carmichael, okay. California. And the headliner is uh, Steve McAnally. Okay. And he's from Kearns, Utah. I believe that's how they pronounce it. I'm and not he, positive. I it's saw, a suburb of Salt Lake City. I saw yeah. something on the, the uh, flyer. Now, yeah. who was, I saw something that said National Geographic. Is that what? They yeah, I that know, right? I, I, yeah, I'm not sure what he's done with Nat National <laughs> Geographic, but that he, was Steve. Yeah, that was Steve. Yeah. Okay. And uh, he's uh, headlining almost somewhere on on the Las Vegas Strip. Either he's headlining or uh, hosting a show somewhere on the Las Vegas Strip okay. almost every single week. So. You know, it's they're, they're not big shows, but they're they're, they're hey, still on the Las Vegas. If you don't want to have to go to Vegas, you can yeah. come to the Mountain Falls show on November twelfth at yeah. seven, and you can see him there. Yeah, you he's headlined at SLS a number of times. Okay, which is the old Sahara. Yes, yeah. I've been there since, and it's kind of crazy, like um, Alice in Wonderland in there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I, I haven't been there. It. Yeah, it's really um, a lot to look at. So it's worth going. It's a lot to look at. Just the, the walls. There's some some hallways that are like striped, like just black and white striped down the whole hallway. Really? Wow. And you're like, whoa, I'm in an Alice in Wonderland movie. So. Oh, sweet. Um, do we have the flyer, Noah? I And thank you to Noah all the time. Noah is yeah. always an awesome, awesome technical director and weatherman. Yeah. 
There we go. Okay, there's the flyer. So uh, it says doors open at 7, so come get food and some drinks. Um, it's 18 and up, so you do not have to be 21. You can just be 18. And it's on November 12th at 7. And there's there's your picture, Byron Rain, Kento, and Steve. I can't see around. McAnally. McAnally. I, yeah. I didn't want to say it wrong. Yeah. McAnally. Yeah. And you also have a Facebook page, don't you? I want to cover that before so that everybody yeah. watching, I want everybody right now, I know you're all holding your phones in your hand. Go down, look on your Facebook, find facebook.com slash Byron, Byron Wayne Comedy and click like mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. And then I'll get my Facebook page looking the way it should real quick. <laughs> well, it, it looks pretty good. There yeah. was a lot of really good um, promo on there. The photos are really nice. It's a really good page. Mm -hmm. So okay. we're going to yeah. get you. So by November 12th, yeah. everybody watching this show, you better tell at least five of your friends. So we want to get 100 likes before, just from the show. Yeah. We want 100 more. <laughs> and that's not too much to ask. I mean, there's 100 people no. that are at Walmart at any given time. Yep. So I might just do that. I might just walk through Walmart and say, hey, go on your phone right now. And <laughs> yep, tell everybody you know on Facebook or any of the other media, Twitter, whatever you have. Yep, let them know. And it's Spread not required that they buy dinner, right? They can just no. go and they can yep. just go and sit. But the food is really good up there, so you might want to just go have a drink or a ginger ale. I'm my favorite is ginger ale. So. Yep. <laughs> and uh, you decide what you think the show is worth. If you think it was worth ten dollars or more, you get a DVD. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And if you think it was worth more, well, that's okay too. Yeah. <laughs> thank yeah. you so much oh. for coming. It was oh, such a pleasure so much, to have Maria, you. For and yeah. to visit with you. What a great guy. And yeah. I'm so looking forward to the show. You better be there. Yep. November 12th, 7 yep. p.m. Yep. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Any last at least messages? Be there. No, at least be there by 8. That's when the comedy starts. Okay. And yeah. All right. But if have a good meal. They do have real good food there. So have a good meal. Get a couple of drinks. Comedy's always a little funnier when you have a few drinks under your belt. Now, <laughs> don't want you to have so much, of, oh, wow, check out what the lines on the road are doing. But uh, Right, just know, take a designated just, just, driver. You just, just, just have enough to where you're, you're, you're filling the comedy. We don't want you being rude and heckling or anything like that either. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah. they'll heckle you back. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. We'll see you next week. Community Viewpoint. Maria Hurst.